Do you want that number one luxury shampoo and conditioner to get that hydrated, silky smooth like hair? Let's find out. Hi, Kylan Carr here, and I am obsessed, 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 obsessed to the power of four, squared, whatever you want to call it, with fashion and beauty products. And on my channel, I do reviews and tutorials to help you feel great and let you know, is it really worth it? So let's get into our video. And on today's video, we are reviewing the R&Co Television Perfect shampoo and conditioner and letting you know, is it really worth it? Let's find out. and into our r co Television Perfect Shampoo and Conditioner. So what is it good for? It says it's great for body shine, smoothing, basically everything under the sun, right? So does it really live up to the Television Perfect name? Honestly, it's, it's one of those things where I love it. I think it is actually, it's a really good product for every day. I usually wash my hair about every few days, but it really does a great job at doing all of that. The only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't really provide the volume that I want, so I have to really use like a volumizing spray like the Oribe Maximista, and I do have to use a little bit of a, a hair oil to hydrate the ends. My hair does feel a little bit, it gets dry at the ends after you know, blow drying it, um, flat ironing it, so if you're okay using those, those products after you use this, I would say it's a great product for using, you know, maybe every few days, uh, and it does leave that kind of subtle little scent after you're done, where you're basically going through the day and you can still kind of get a scent of it throughout the day. And as far as the scent goes, you know, I'd really say that it's one of those products that I really do like. It has just enough to where you're getting a scent of it, but not, not so much where it's overpowering. So the way I like to think about it is, you know, it's like walking through the mall and you know, you notice someone and you get kind of just a little like, you know, glimpse of them, a little scent of them, and it makes you actually turn your head. Fragrance, Versus, though, like, I would have to say, take the lid off here, let's take a quick little scent, see if it's actually good. Oh, great. The lid's on. Okay, let's look at the next one. How about our shampoo? Same thing? Okay. <laughs> it's on here, too. <laughs> oh, God. That is like, that scent is like, how would I explain it? It's like I was sent to heaven, Jesus gave me a bottle of shampoo and conditioner and said, here's your care package, and I am ready for you. So I am out of the shower, and this is first impressions using the r &Co Television Perfect Shampoo and Conditioner. So I would say, it's been about maybe 10, 15 minutes. My hair's starting to dry out a little bit. I would say the texture on the hair, it just feels really nice and smooth. It does have that weightless moisture kind of effect that you've been, I guess, reading about that I told you about. Um, the one thing that I did notice, which I said in the beginning, is that it has kind of that little bit of a dry feeling at the end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little primer, volumizing, and hair oil. Okay, so first what I do is actually use a little bit of this dry bar Prep Rally. Really good product just for really kind of getting a little bit of hydration in the ends, just kind of getting everything prepped and ready to go. So I'll spray that in. So we have a little bit of that in. What I usually do is I'll spray that in and I'll use a little bit of the Orbe, Orbe, sorry, Maximista Volumizing Spray. And just get a little bit of that in, you know, kind of everywhere, kind of here on the ends, in the back and the top. I usually try to comb it through too, but we'll actually put a little bit of hair oil in first. So I actually have my Dry Bar 100 Proof Smoothing Oil. This is gonna help because you really need that hydration right at the end. So I usually do about like three pumps. I usually do, does a pretty good job. So 
kind of rub it in, kind of work it through the ends. That's really gonna help just kind of really make this a really nice kind of finished product when you blow dry it at the end. So we'll just kind of work it through the ends, a little bit here, okay? So we got all that done. Now we're gonna just kind of brush it through. I usually use like either a round brush or you can use a flat brush to get through. I kind of like the round brush because it gives a little bit more of kind of like a fine, kind of a fine texture, kind of fine finish to it. So we'll kind of go through, just kind of brush it through, kind of get the product all evened out. Okay. So first impressions, great. At least that kind of smooth, weightless kind of feel to it. Um, Let's go ahead and blow dry it and see how it looks. And onto our blow drying. So we're gonna see what it looks like, how the product actually feels when I'm blow drying it. So let's try it out. Okay, so we did a little bit of blow drying, one section right here. I would say just kind of using the round brush going through it, it does feel like it has just a really nice finish to it. Um, it doesn't really feel like it tangles or snags. So it did actually do a pretty good job at detangling. Um, part of that also helps with that Prep Rally spray from Dry Bar that we used in the beginning. But, you know, just going through it, it doesn't really feel like it has like a, a coat or a layer on it. Um, and it feels nice and healthy and hydrated. Hello, we are done with our blow drying and we are volumized to the gods. And I would say we have volume, but we're going for a little bit more of a sleek look today. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with flat ironing. So we got our flat iron right here. We're gonna do a couple little sections, just see how it performs and see if it really is that television perfect. So let's take one section here. Let's just see how it looks. Okay, so I would say overall, that's just one section. I would say the, the finish on it is actually pretty nice. It has a nice kind of smooth glass-like finish. It doesn't really feel like it has a lot of product kind of built up on the hair when you're going through it. Um, and it does really have that weightless moisturizing kind of effect with it. So I would say I do love it. It feels great. I'm excited to see what it looks like at the end. So let's take a look. See you in a bit. All right, and we are done with our flat ironing and it is looking silky smooth, a little bit glass-like. I do like that little shine going on right now. And this is basically the finished product. I'm super happy with the product. Um, doesn't really feel like my hair is too weighed down um, and it's really easy and kind of light to the touch. Super happy. Okay, and price, how much is this? It is $32, and I have actually linked it below, right here. So if you feel like you need a good everyday shampoo conditioner, it really does do a good job, and I actually personally use it every day. And here we have our conditioner below. It comes in a 2, 8.5, and a 33.8. So when you check out, you can actually specify which one you want, uh, which one is the best fit for you. So in terms of ingredients, it has a juniper berry extract, it has glycerin, and it has a seed oil. So what do all of these do? So r &Co tells you that it provides this weightless moisture that really locks it into the hair. My personal take on it is that it actually does do that. It does provide that weightless moisture. Um, the thing that I really like about it is that it doesn't leave that film, that coating on your hair, like a lot of products like Living Proof. Um, I do like Living Proof, but I really find that that layer that kind of coats the hair um, is a little much for every day. Um, it's just why I love using this, you know, every, every few days. Uh, So final thoughts on the product are, I would have to say yes to the heavens because this 
and Jesus are going to be my best buds from here on out. I would say I love it. I'm going to use that volumizing spray and that hair oil to get that first perfect combo at the end. Um, so I would say overall, you're probably going to love using it. It's going to give you a great scent, something good for every day that's not going to weigh the hair down and get that good weightless moisture. Just make sure you use a couple extra products with it that can hydrate the hair and give you volume if you need it. Um, another great product to use if you want to get that volume is the, you know, if you want to use like a dry bar triple sec or the Orbe uh, dry text striping spray, those can really help give you more volume when you use this. And you guys, don't forget to like my video below and don't forget to subscribe. Um, in the comments below, let me know what your favorite luxury shampoo and conditioner is. Uh, if you do like r &Co products and maybe some videos you'd like to see in the future. Other than that, we will see you guys next time. Bye.